What up, everybody? Thank you for joining me. Fluent here for Fluent's World. Bring you the latest in RPG entertainment. And by latest, I mean I'm playing a game from... I don't know when this game came out, but this is episode 6 of... Vampire, The Masquerade, Redemption. What year did this come out? Probably like 1982. 45 minutes on the clock. And don't uh, leave a comment, I was just joking. I know it didn't come out in 1982. Um... Let's get into it. This is getting pretty interesting, and uh, yeah, if I seem a little bit off in today's episode, uh, just know that I haven't slept, having back issues, but it's all good. Figured this is a perfect time to play some more Vampire. So let's check out Homie's crib here. Interesting artwork. Uh, oh, you really like that picture there? Wilhelm? Kind of creepy, bro. I guess this is how vampires get down. Uh -huh. Oh, that's probably a jug of fine Cormirian brandy blood. Leather armor, that's for my dude here. Right? What? Oh, this is... This is the good stuff, leather armor. As in, you have to be on point to wear this leather armor. Oh, it's not identified. Snap. Oh, that works actually. Let's get rid of that stupid club. Cool, man. Cool. I like me some loot in RPGs. Um, I guess we gotta grab this skull. Skull of the Lamia. Lamia. Let's get a look at this again. Oh, it's like a crystal skull. That is dope, and it's got a hand holding it, coming out. Check out the lamp. Who says the graphics in this game are terrible? That opinion is terrible. What beast once wore this skull upon its neck? Well, if I had to guess, I would say it was the Lamia. Whatever the heck a Lamia is. I guess we're done in here. Now we have a date with Mercurio. And he's gonna foot the tab if you get what I'm saying. Is I'm gonna kill him. Probably. If I can't get my way with chatty chat chat. Again, is one of those weird items that does not appear in the inventory. Let's get it. Oh. What? How comes out here? Flee now, and the great Mercurio will not smite thee. So, hiding like a rat in a hole, whilst thy kin fight valiantly in defense of thy theft, thou art the clot pole of a coward. I hide not. My work is too important. Work. Thou hast interrupted. I shall crack open the tree of life and uncover all the secrets of death and life.
Oh, this is crazy. Canst thou restore mortal life to a vampire? Canst thou restore mortal life to a vampire? Soon, very soon, I shall have such secrets. Smite thy Bruja ally, and thou shalt be the first to be restored when the secrets of death are mine. This is so crazy. This is some serious choice and consequence here. I don't trust this guy though. Nay, thou art false. Give us the nod fragment or my blade shall teach thee the secrets of death. Nay, thou wilt tell Garanol of my theft. Tis better I bury thee in a secret grave with stakes of oak piercing thy hearts, and a wraithworm shall hollow out thy noble brows and robust cheeks. <sighs> Work. Let's see if you need it. Let's see if you're about that life. Oh, Wilhelm, bro. Hideous faces, I don't like that. Um I was gonna say, I didn't save it for more curios, what am I crazy? Alright. Yeah, I would say we're not in the best of shape to be thrown into battle. Shield on. See, that would be great if I actually knew what the heck it was or did. Unknown Vite. Let us go forth and bring the fight to the foe. It's a weird kind of blood. Spirits touch. You know, who knows? And no blood for anybody. You mean to tell me Garanol did not have a stash of high quality blood? Cure disease. Just take a chance and drink the unknown vite. This is crazy. How much blood do I have? 35. Oh, he has 55. Heal yourself, fool. Yeah. Alright, you're alright, bro. Mercurio a uh, Grants increased automatic damage. What does that mean? Charms target. Don't we have better ones? Or more, I should say. So I have an idea. I'm gonna use my blood strength. And uh, wreck this fool. Probably hit him with some holy water. If he is a vampire. Walk the abyss, I have no idea. Alright, alright, alright. Let's do it. What? So nice. Can't thou soup? Nay, thou art. Nay. Um. Did 
that hurt him? It did. Get him, y'all. Get him. We're getting him. We're getting him, bro. That's him. Got him? Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Yo! Blood. I crave blood. Dang, yo. Yeah. I just snapped on this fool. Frenzied on this fool. Uh, sorry about that, bro. Hope this doesn't like ruin our friendship. Not fragment. I had no control over that, Wilhelm. I don't know. That was crazy. And there may have been a possibility that I could have canceled the, the blood sucking. Weird. Hmm. I don't know if that was automatic or what. More leather armor. I'm uh, gonna do a little bit inventory management here. I didn't mess anything up. That's just part the of the game. Rinky, back fouling old Puttock. Fears that I seek to betray him. But he shall not know with a certainty until the last of his sludge blood oozes from his pus ridden corpse. The old maggot pie needeth my power in defense of his withered haven and shall overlook my indiscretion. Oh, I must keep his mewling household in a frenzy, defending themselves from aggrieved villains. I shall steal from the beslubbering Bruja to draw their wrath upon him. However, should his crusty majesty plumb the secrets of the Golem, he shall need me no longer. So, I shall pollute the rabbi's gall faced Golem with grave rot, making it useless to him. Then shall I drink the old leper's blood before the moon hath fully waned. <laughs> Garanal's search for wisdom has not trespassed into our haven. Twas his false servant, Mercurio. We were fortunate to find the fragment before another clan could learn of it. Others might not have spared Garanal in the search. Cool. Um... stuff. What does that book say over there? Bunch of weird symbols. It's like a demonic slip so forgive me uh, what do you call that thing they light on 
Hanukkah, a yarmulke. I apologize. I can't the think right now. The signs of Gehenna, Canto Four. So too, our grandsires will rise from the ground. They will break their fast on the first part of us. They will consume us whole. What means this dire portent? This is a great secret known to a few wise vampires. The Book of Nod tells us that the 13 ancient founders of the vampire clans will one day rise from their age-old sleep. When these antediluvians emerge from torpor, they shall fall upon us, their descendants, and gorge their unholy thirst upon our blood. The day they rise is called Gehenna, or the Winnowing, and it signals the end of all that is. We know not how to prevent it, but even now, Ekaterina searches for a way. Why didst thou not tell me of this? With such evil barking at our heels, we must hasten our work. Forgive us. Most young Canaanites are not ready to hear it. They mistrust their sire. And that we cannot have. Hmm. There was a lot about this also in uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I recognize Gehenna. Uh, you know, similar terms and everything. Obviously, they both take place in the same world. Uh, and I guess Bloodlines... I'm trying to think of the locations, man. Was it... Was it New York City? And then... I know Chinatown... Uh, was one of the locations. Man... I just can't think right now, but... Uh, BRB in 30 quick seconds. I'll be right back. Chris Avalon talking about in an interview recently uh, about writing dialogue for RPGs and he said how he tends to write his dialogue in menu format see that looks like a demonic uh, whatever candle thing um, but he writes his dialogue in menu form and he said that uh, you know doing so with basically with in other formats like voice and whatnot can add some interesting elements to the game and uh, while I'm a big text guy myself and I prefer that approach games like this and even bloodlines have some of that where uh, you know inflection of the voice uh, leads you know like in, in that example, he didn't sound too trustworthy. And he also, just by the inflection of his voice, he didn't sound like he was the great Mercurio, like he was all that powerful to begin with. More kind of like a sniveling, uh, you know, worm tongue type guy. But, uh,. So that's pretty cool and you can do that I mean with text as well you know there's plenty of cues you can give in RPGs for text that do the same thing but uh Vampire the Masquer Masquerade Bloodlines also had very cool facial animation technology so if you made someone mad or happy and stuff, they actually had pretty cool uh, different 
poignard. What the heck is that? Different facial animations. Uh, did we come up this way? I guess we did. So I guess there's no fast way out of here. We just gotta go the old-fashioned way. Where Wilhelm just doesn't let us by. Wilhelm, I understand, you know, I'm the, the rookie here, but... Come on, bro. Don't know if I'm taking you next time with me. Nah, I'm just kidding. He's very well qualified vampire. Alright, so I guess we're running out of this joint. Um, pretty cool stuff, man. As I said, a lot of... Uh, well, I like how the lore kind of has real places like Prague and... Also rich with plenty of fantasy stuff. Unless vampires really exist, do they? I don't know. Um, there may be an easier way to get out of here. Not as deep as I thought, actually. But a pretty cool dungeon crawl, nonetheless. Alright, I guess we just get our vampire behinds out of here. Definitely have to stock up on some blood. We have to have some things identified. Oh, that was like a cool howling wolf. Or whatever the heck that is. Gargoyle, maybe? Darkness lore does have plenty of gargoyles in it. And other creatures of the night. You gonna mess with me? Should kill you monks. I'm hooking those fools up with blood. I think we've pretty much eradicated most of their clan here. Often. We must hurry. Dawn approaches. The sun is a destroyer now, Christoph. Remember this. During the day, thou must find a place to rest where no sunlight can enter. Let us return to the university where Katarina shall surely celebrate our triumph. I cannot share thy pleasure over such a deed. Come now, <laughs> before thy embrace. Did thou not slay evil creatures? Behold, thy mission survives even thy death. That is scant solace for the loss of my soul. Thou dost brood too much upon events thou cannot change, Christoph. Seek consolation in our Promethean mission. Bury thy woe in the blood-drenched soil of battle. 
I have found that the fury of war weaves enchantments that soothe even the most troubled heart. Kindred and kind alike. I well know the seduction of warfare. Then thou knowest the joy of cutting a bloody swath through thy foemen. The only joy I felt was in doing the work of heaven as a soldier of God. I have done nothing to warrant this fallen state. How can God allow men to become demons? How can God snatch away the promise of salvation? God allows the innocent child on the battlefield to cry and does nothing. So why should God prevent the misery of a killer like unto thee? I, I do not know. I have not considered these things. Come, I promise thee a trip to the convent, but make haste. Dawn comes quickly. Christoph? My love? Thou art accursed, if Christoph be thy love. Nay, do not go, my lord. Let me look upon thee. <gasps> Good my lord, forgive me. I was filled with fright to behold thee. Thy comely face is now sicklied over with a pale cast, and I scarcely recognized thee. Forgive me. Thou hast been gone so long, we feared for thy life. Thou feared aright, for I am dead to the world, and my soul is lost. Do I behold a ghost? Nay, I touch thy arm, and I know thou art flesh and blood. Not flesh, only blood. My lord, thy words do fill my heart with fear, and I tremble. <laughs> Good my lord, why dost thou look so strangely upon me? My mind is filled with thoughts of such base villainy. My hunger for thee is stronger now than when my heart did pump its own warm blood. I know not what misfortune weighs so heavily upon thy soul, or has driven the rosy warmth from thy cheek, but the heavenly powers can banish all such darkness. Should they banish this darkness? They would banish all that is left of me. Say not so. My lord, I know thy heart, and thy soul is pure. My heart, my soul, thy words torment me with remembrance of all that I have lost. I was a fool to have come here. I must never return to a house of God. Nay, I pray thee stay. My honored lord, thy soul is in peril. My honored lady, my soul is lost. My cause is doomed, and I am damned. I go. I will not look upon thee again. Then I pray thee, my lord, receive this token of me. Tis but a small amulet of St. Jude. Thou didst give it me, and it hath soothed the pangs of mine own heart that began when first I beheld thee, and a desperate, Hopeless love did grow in my breast. Mayhap it will be some consolation to thy doomed cause. Art thou deaf, woman? My cause is lost! Therefore do I offer thee the amulet of Jude, patron saint of lost causes. Oh. <laughs> thou, sweet heavens, guide him. See, she slipped into something a little more comfortable than the nun's outfit. Um, Saint Jude. See, we don't have the amulet on our person, or whatever. Fully expecting an ambush by old Giza. Uh, What happens if I go into the, uh... Oh, St. Thomas Cathedral's locked. Actually... Let's go get this stuff identified.
Oh, you should feed on this cat. Where's your, where's your feed ability? On the lady girl. I can carry no more. I can carry oh, no snap. more. Do not feed in the day, in not the daylight, but when there's guards around, obviously, not a good idea. See, I don't know why it's feed. Get her. humanity. Did I, I, I get, I pressed the wrong button. Wait, wait a minute. What in the world? Who the heck is this here? He has taken me. He has taken the best of me and left nothing but a shell in his home of bone in his halls of skin behind his walls of flesh he has taken all I had that's a very familiar voice Let's see we uh, can I put this To, uh... I can carry no more. Where'd he come from? I am weak with lack of precious blood. I know, bro. Trying to get you some. It's not as easy as it seems. some rats in the alley though oh this has I just realized this has blood quality too that's why there's bigger old man you really want to get hold of the lady she has that good good blood in Masquerade too, or in uh, Bloodlines. 
Back here? No. Oh. That's a good rat when you need them. There they are. Come here. Enjoy. Another. Actually, since we're going to rest anyway, I don't really think we need to do that, but. Let's see what some of this cool Smith stuff is here. Good day to you, young sir. He doesn't identify. Um. Hmm. Ring. Well, it's probably on expand, actually. Good appearance too, some silver rings. See. You have my hand on it. Tis a deal. The uh, ship over in Golden Lane. Young sister did come to me from the convent. A clever lass she was, and more valorous than many a young warrior. She bade me give thee this letter. Really? Hello, young one. What is it you... But oh. You do look so strangely. Oh, they have hurt you. The canines have taken ye for their own. Oh, my poor boy. But fear not. Unorna neither feels ye nor casts ye out. I'll help ye, if I can. Thank you, Unorna. How do we get this stuff identified? <sighs> Click 
here to sell item. I guess there's someone else that will identify. Oh, she sells Vitae. That's pretty cool. But uh, BR BRB, 30 seconds. minutes left. Uh, let's just head back to E. Katarina. See what she says. Wait, 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 no, 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 go back, go back. What is this over her? Oh, really? Oh, we can't go down there. Looks like it'd be a good place to find someone to feed on under the bridge. Take me to the place I love. Take me all the way. Shout out to the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Don't want to sing too much and get a copyright strike on my channel. Uh, this way. down this way. in here in our very own coffin save pretty hauntingly beautiful music oh we have to read that save, see what happens when we rest. Oh, we leveled up. Alright, well actually... So we did save, right? 
Alright, cool. So, in the next episode, we'll level up both of our characters there. That's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, we'll I'll talk to Katarina, show her this page from the Book of Nod. And I'm going to nod off now because I'm pretty tired. Uh, pretty cool stuff. I will catch you in the next episode. We'll get those items identified. Uh, and we'll have a grand old time. So thanks once again for joining me. Peace out. One.